today we are going to be going over the 2020 Climb F3 helmet. Stay tuned guys, I got some good things to say and I got some bad things to say. question for me. What is your all-time favorite helmet? If you had to pick one helmet out of all the helmets you've ever worn, what is your absolute favorite best helmet? Let me know down below in the comments. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cody here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a semi-professional snowmobile addict. And by that, I mean I'm a goon that rides snowmobiles in the backcountry of Wyoming. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you are a new subscriber, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I'd love to earn your subscription. I would like to preface this video by letting you guys know that I am in no way affiliated with the Klein brand. I'm not a partner. I'm not getting paid to do this or anything like that. This is going to be an honest review from someone that uses this helmet on a daily basis, snowmobiling. What I like about it, what I don't like about it, and there are a couple things I don't like about it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna let you know what is not great about this helmet as well as the great things. All right, to start off, we're gonna take a look at the helmet as a whole. This is the 2020 Climb F3 helmet. Climb is a local USA-based Idaho company, now owned by Polaris, and this is their F3 helmet. So this is a cheaper model, basically, of the F4 helmet. Um, I really like the color scheme. It is fairly lightweight. It is not a carbon fiber helmet, but it is definitely, nonetheless, a very lightweight easy to throw around helmet. So some of the things I like about it, I like the venting in it. So if you look, there are vents all over the place on this helmet. And I like the shield for the winter time. So inside this helmet, there is a shield right here. The shield is an awesome piece to the helmet. It covers your nose, keeps the wind out of your face on those extra cold days. And it is something that is completely removable in this helmet. Now, if you look on the inside, I don't know if you can see, but there's vents in the top of the helmet as well. They work awesome for springtime riding and all that type stuff. Now, Climb also makes an insert you can put in here, basically encasing the entire helmet so that way there's no wind getting in. They also make some other really cool things for these helmets. So you can get a GoPro mount for the end right here that actually clips into this vent and you can mount your GoPro right here. It's a really, really cool mount I have yet to buy, but it is on the list of things to purchase for next year. Um, as far as the helmet goes, my favorite part about this helmet is something that almost every company is coming out with now, and that is the magnetic uh, tether on the end of the helmet here. And if I can do it backwards, I would love to, but it's basically just a magnet. So what you do is, you just clip it in and then you pull the red tether to clip it off. So when you have the helmet on during snow days, you're riding with your helmet. It's very easy with gloves on to put the helmet on and take it off. Now as a motocross guy, as a motocross guy, I was a little skeptical about the magnet saying, oh, you know, what happens if it pops off mid crash or something like that? And these magnets have actually really proven themselves to me this year. We've had some gnarly, gnarly turnovers with this helmet on and the magnet stays strong throughout the whole thing. So this is probably my favorite part about the climb helmet and it's just the ease of that magnet right there. Um, as far as other things go, the padding on the insides of the helmet is very soft. It doesn't tear your face up when you start getting wet or with the dry cold and all that stuff, the helmet is not gonna hurt your face. Now I've worn several helmets in the past that actually your face, your cheeks and stuff start to hurt after a while. This is not one of those helmets. So this is the Climb F3 helmet and those are the good things that I have to say about it. So let's talk about the bad thing. 
So there's really only two bad things I have to say about this helmet. One of them is probably my own fault. I started wearing a carbon fiber helmet. This is not a carbon fiber helmet. This is way lighter than helmets I'm used to wearing, but this is, this is heavy compared to a carbon fiber helmet. So weight is kind of a downside on this helmet, but price is an upside because if you get the climb helmet that's carbon fiber, it's almost double the cost of this. So this is a very cost effective helmet that's going to keep your head safe. You're not gonna have to worry about it. The second thing I have to say about this helmet, and I think it goes for most helmets, so I'm not gonna assign a ton of weight to climb on this one, but how many of you guys riding snowmobiles, riding dirt bikes or whatever, and your head seems to wanna to find gravity all the time, right? I'm talking the big fall, the smack your head into the ground type deal. The downside to this helmet and pretty much any other helmet I've ever used is this. This is another visor that uh, didn't fare as well and took a booter in the snow, it was hard, went straight down and split it right up the middle here. So I think the plastic this is made out of is kind of brittle in the cold. It's a little more pliable now that it's warmer out. I think it's a little more brittle in the cold and that actually caused this just to split right down the center. So aside from the weight and visors breaking, which I mean, if you can find me a helmet where the visors don't break, it probably doesn't have a visor on it at all. So that's kind of one of those things that, you know, it's every helmet, but I have to mention it in this video to be impartial. I really, really like the climb helmet. It has been way more comfortable than other helmets I've ran. If you guys watch some of my earlier season videos, I was running an EVS, dirt bike helmet from like 2016. Um, that one tore my face up, that one was uncomfortable and it just didn't work great. So that is the Climb F3 helmet guys, 2020 model. Awesome, awesome helmet. Um, aside from the, the little bit of weight and the visor, it has been an excellent helmet for me. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. You know, Drop your opinion down below on what the best helmet is that, in your opinion.